Hey everybody, welcome back to more Man in there. I, uh, I'm still Negroth. I kept the same suit, and amazingly enough, I kept the same guest. Uh, hey. 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 My, my. So much excitement is going on today. We got a brand new boss in the Lohenzahn. Which... Lohenzahn, and, and that sounds like German. What does that mean in, uh, in regular people speak? Uh, it apparently means dandelion. Which, as we have known from the previous levels, all the names are very representative of what we are going to be facing. So, I guess maybe we have allergies and we will die. <laughs> she so. teleports in like the uh, the Terminator, except, sadly, fully clothed. That, uh, give, give me your clothes. Your clothes! Give them to me! That, that's not the line. No, I'm pretty sure it's... Uh, I like your clothes. Can I wear them? I'm so, naked. So th this level, this particular uh, area may seem very similar because yet again, uh, we've already been here. Except, I guess the designers felt that darkness was a valid color change. Level design 101. Did you run out of levels? No, you didn't. You yeah. just reused the first one I, again. I'm all, they put in these very dangerous spotlights, which... You can probably technically dodge, but they don't tell you that if you do want the best rank on this particularly short level, you are actually going to need to be caught by these, because otherwise you won't get the proper no damage bonus for this particular room. Now, I gotta wonder why... You know, first of all, like, normally getting caught in a game means that your score is worse. Like, I wonder why they've got these, uh big uh, spotlights on it in case of a robot prison riot or what's the what's well, the deal I, I guess they were waiting for Vanessa as she is now the angel of robot death and so you're pretty uh, much like robot Hitler yeah or for the anime fans out there Kashurin Sins which was uh, it's a good anime you guys should go watch it instead of this shit about uh, murdering robots, robots murdering robots. It was a good, it was a good, it was a good anime. I don't robot on robot it. violence. Yeah, but but yeah. So once you get you know spotted by a spotlight, it does trigger some very dangerous turrets, which I guess would be dangerous if it weren't for the amazingly named energy drive Thunderbird. As uh, as we saw in the previous update, it has uh, it's got it's a pretty smart energy drive. It does quite a bit of damage. It's your eye win button with a two and a half second invincibility frame. Yeah, and it's definitely a lot better than the other energy drive that comes with this particular suit, which is the upgraded version of the incredibly useless AoE energy drive. So, Well, I'm it, glad to see we're getting some more variety. We had the, the outdoor brown area, and now we have the indoor gray area. Yeah, for the room that we start every mission in. And also, I'm pretty sure this particular hallway was the second hallway in the previous update, so... Do the robots ever try locking doors? Or maybe, uh, like, not, not unlocking them? Maybe leaving them closed? Well, considering most of them don't have hands and their entire purpose is to guard otherwise empty hallways against us, I don't know. The, this uh, robot force run amok not really that impressed by it. So the robots are defeated by lack of handicap access. Yeah, they're like Daleks. Uh, oh can't, no, can't go upstairs. Well, you didn't do it in a Dalek voice. Oh, uh... Exfoliate! <laughs> in, in, in the in Daleks section. that work for Neutrogena. Yeah. So, uh, if you can believe it, we're actually already at the boss fight. Really, really, really short level here. But I will say, I actually do kind of relatively enjoy this boss fight. Mostly because it is kind of goofy. This reminds me of that uh, Christopher Nolan Batman Batmobile. Yeah. Or uh, I think you mentioned Dominion Tank Police to keep with the, the anime feel. The anime feel. Yeah, I'll keep it. Keep it. Yeah, it's got those uh, ball wheels. Which, you gotta wonder, like, how do you, how do you run power to something like that? How does... What's the drivetrain to a sphere look like? I don't like? know. Oh, well, I was just going to question the actual function and usability of something, just just the sphere. 
Because honestly, it just makes me think of trackball mouses, and I hate those. Those damn things are useless. I remember I had a mouse that had a trackball on it, so it was like a mouse, and it had a trackball under the thumb. And that was confusing. Yeah. I don't know. I guess I, guess I should explain the in-depth uh, strategy here, which is... Duck and dot, 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 dot lasers, duck and hole, rinse, repeat against the terrifying dandelion. Women you know ducking how, in holes, my only weakness. Well, you, you know how dandelions will sometimes, when they're about to spread their spores, will sometimes just put up a laser field, which will slash off your fingers. Ah, oh, don't get me started. Yeah. Gardening, man. You goddamn dandelions. Shit's bananas. Oh. Spe Especially when the dandelion goes into its second more dangerous. Now you, now you pissed them off. The spread eagle phase. Behold my widespread legs. So at this point, the boss actually does get dangerous. It's got some nasty instant death lasers, and well, as you can probably assume from its spread eagle form, it's not really something you can easily dodge around, especially when it pulls out its second "fuck you" attack. <laughs> Screen filling face melter. Yeah. yeah. So, so you're just gonna exploit your invincibility frame? Pretty much. And there's nothing wrong with the exploitation, right? Well, especially not when he's got like three instant death attacks. Yeah. But we now say so long, farewell, Avida Zane, to the dandelion. And I want to thank Vitaku yet again for joining me. You're welcome. See you next time.